thing. I didn't really get a good look, but I noticed they seem a bit lost here. Hey there. What do you want, human? You said there was a lynching. Tell me about it. Maybe I could help. The last time a man helped a mutant, it was only to bring a chair to help him reach the noose. And those that didn't participate watched and did nothing. Who were these men? Uh, it was those crazy religious zealots who hate us. Believe we have no souls. If we want the prince to do something, we need evidence. Same goes for handling it ourselves. But all we have is the body of our brother. We won't punish an innocent. We are not like them. Not all humans are like that. Maybe I'll have some better luck asking around. I'll look into it. Welcome, welcome. What's your pleasure? Did you hear about that mutant who got lynched? I want to know who did it. I see. But why do you think I would know anything about it? You know what goes on in that neighborhood like any merchant should. And you don't think that this kind of story is bad for business? The mutants are furious. You really want them to turn the whole city upside down in order to find the culprit? You're not wrong. I guess that we'd better turn in the culprits and be done with it. It's a gang of fanatics from the temple that lynched that poor guy. Oh, it was awful. Why didn't you do anything then? I... it was an angry crowd. I mean, I have nothing against mutants, of course, but... A spine like a jellyfish, but it walks like a human. Mm, thanks for the information, I guess.
Gentlemen, you are responsible for an awful crime. It's pointless to try to deny it. Several witnesses saw you. You didn't even try to be discreet. We didn't have to hide. We're carrying out a divine mission, and nobody will prevent us from doing so. Not even you. Come on, guys! For the shadow! <laughs> Shadow, stop! Yes, yes, we killed the soulless mutant. But who cares? They gave their souls to the sun and betrayed the shadow. And their horrid forms became punishment. Why does it concern you? Whatever your superstitions, over here, mutants are free. And believe me, when they learn that you're behind all this, I wouldn't bet that you'll get out of this alive. No, no, I beseech you, don't tell them. Think about the turmoil that will create in the city, the riots. How about raising their doubts over something else? You would be rewarded. Repent! I had something else. Hey there. What do you want, human? Regarding the investigation you asked me to do. Did you find anything? Who killed our brother? Listen, you were right. It's the gang of fanatics that's behind this murder. But you shouldn't seek vengeance. I know that it's hard to hear, but you're gonna start a riot in town. And innocent people will get hurt, maybe killed. Listen, man, you look straight, and I thank you for turning in the culprits. But when it comes to the rest, forget it. It's not your business. You're not a mutant. We're gonna make those scumbags pay, and that's that!
Hi, Zach. How are you? Hello, Amelia. Zachariah, what can I do for you? I moved the rover for you. If Ophir finds the road in, it won't be because of me. Yes, I already heard. Sorry if the request seemed paranoid. Better safe than sorry. when I thought shit couldn't be worse. Her engine's been blown like a John in a whorehouse. Gonna need some spare parts now. A stator, a thermic regulator, a rotor. With only a few rovers out there, it's not like you can just grab those parts from the nearest merchant. There is one in Ophir, though. He used to have a machine for me from scratch. And I heard there may be someone else here in Noctis who sells them, too. However, when it comes to prices, since we don't have abundance of support, it's not the same anymore. Uh, it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg, honey. I wouldn't mind seeing you go broke, but there are other options. Let me think. In my shed, I had a replacement stator ready to go. I imagine that the area is closely monitored, but if you manage to sneak in, maybe you could recover it. I also had a delivery waiting. The quartermaster, Ryan Stewart. I imagine he must still have a rotor in his inventory, since I'm not there anymore. It won't be easy to get it back, but that's your problem. I go back with Ryan, know his inventory well. Though with all those soldiers in the barracks, it'll be a tough nut to crack. The final option's a robber I heard of who parts everything he fucking finds. Not a guy I'd want to grab a drink with, but I heard he's got spare rover parts. May have one of the ones we need. And I've heard that he wasn't interested in serum. Maybe you'll have to take chances, who knows. Anyway, it could be a lead. One last thing. I found the tools I'll need. However, I was in such a rush that I forgot to take my serum. I don't have a single drop of it left. And since around here, they don't give away freebies. Here, take this. You will be able to buy your tools. Well done. Wow, this is great. You just have to go get me the parts now. I'll take care of it. The shed, Ryan's inventory, the looter, or if I want to go broke, the merchants. See? I remember everything. What's good, Zechariah? Go Keep your pants on. I was told you might have spare parts for a rover. I'm looking for a thermic regulator. Oh, yes. Yes, I got one of those. Hard to find, very hard, very rare. Hard to come by. What would you give me in return? What do you want for it? Hmm. 
Well, I see two possible trades. I'd love to get my hands on some of that focus drug. I know it's not meant for us, but it gives me a nice buzz. Otherwise, you're a technomancer, aren't you? Yeah. Hmm, good, good. Well, I like to poke around old place. Just the other day I found a technomancer glove, but I can't seem to make it work. Like most all the technomancer stuff I find. Well, I can repair most things, but this, I don't understand how it works. What are you supposed to do? But I'm sure you do. To repair it. In front of me. You fix, I watch. You teach, I learn. So in the future, I can do the fixing myself. Got it? You do this. I'll not only give you your thermic regulator, but let you walk away with the glove, too. Maybe. Let me think on it. I'll be back. About that rover part. Yeah? What did you decide? All right, I'll show you. Watch. There you go. Not exactly like new, but it works. That's fantastic. You know how much Technomancer gear I have in inventory that I can fix now? Oh, you're a good man. Here, keep the glove and take your rover part. I don't need it anyway. Take care. See you around. Welcome, welcome. What's your pleasure? What are you looking for? I'm looking for spare parts for a rover. A stator, a rotor, and a thermic regulator. I have a rotor, if you want. The rest, those are rare, rare pieces you're after, you know. Here. For that price, though, it better be in working order. It's brand new, from what I know came from a mechanic who took it from one of those big uh, wind turbines. Take it. It's yours. Thanks. Hey, back. 
you have it in for them, the Technomancer. It's true. But those who practice it, maybe there's a reason for it. You probably know... Brave man to come back here, Mr. Mancer. You're also a wanted man. Not that I'd turn you. Wouldn't be good for business. What do you need? I'm looking for something pretty specific. A spare part for a rover. Oh, really? Yeah, well, you know the risks of selling that kind of thing? Risky business doesn't come cheap. For that price, the part better work work like new. Of course! I only sell the best. Got great suppliers. Keep it wrapped, though, if you're traveling far. 
it's pretty fragile. Will do. Hi, Zach. How are you? Hello, Amelia. I'm fine, thanks. What's good, Zachariah? Got my parts yet? As promised, rotor, stator, and thermic regulator. Damn. Nice work. Keep up like that and you might start growing on me again. We're gonna get my baby back on the road! We need to get back to Noctis. There's only so much I can do from here.
Hello there. Get him! Hey there. Hey there back. What can I do? What's the word on Bulgakov? Seen him before? Oh yeah, sure. They say they might... I hear the rebels meet up in here. That true? Look, I don't ask your business. I just want your business. Serum to pay buys you a place to stay for a few hours. Ain't in a position to turn folks back here. Sure. Not here to judge, just here to hear what you can tell me. Yeah, all right. They ain't nothing more than regular folks who got angry enough to do something about it. Maybe lost a loved one to the war, re-education camps. Maybe angry at the damn folks up top who don't give two good dams about us at the bottom. And sure, I'm sure there's a few in there with big dreams of making things better. But the bulk ain't nothing more than folks looking for a place to aim their rage. Maybe even find some hope. And that might not seem like a reason to you, when hope and rage are the last things one's got. new blood. Hello there. Ready for a fight? A challenge? Uh, 
Your reward for victory! Victory! Hey! Hey! 
Over here. Please. I need to talk to you. About what? You don't know me. And I want to keep it that way. But I'll tell you. I'm with the opposition, and I know you're a wanted man too. ASC's hunting you. Heard you're quite the traveler. Keeping that in mind, my cell chief thinks we might be able to scratch each other's backs a little, considering we have the same enemies. He's got a deal for you. He'll be hiding in the back of the curiosities, waiting for you. All right. Sure. Hey! Hey! Over here! Please. I need to talk to you. Hey, officer. Should I be worried about your visit? If I was still an officer, maybe. I'm as much on the run as you are now. Maybe I should start calling you something else then. What's your name? Zachariah. A pleasure, Zachariah. How can I help you? Hi. Hello there, Mr. Manser. Good to see you. How have you been coping with the ASC's rise to power? It's not me I'm worried about. You have no idea the number of our people who've been arrested, tortured, killed. But all of Victor's brutality is starting to backfire. The people are getting fed up. They're joining us in droves. Problem is, it's not easy to organize everyone. Especially when we don't know who the ASC spies are and aren't. But we still need to get the truth out to the people. It's the reason our publications are so important. It's just one voice of reason, standing up against the relentless lies and propaganda the regime's spreading. It's... it's... <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm sure I'm just preaching to the choir. I heard you thought we might be able to help each other. You heard right. Me and my group publish the real news, so people get to hear what's really going on past the propaganda. Problem is, we're having trouble getting reliable information. As you can imagine, we're being hunted too, which makes it harder to meet up with our informers, a lot of whom are turning up dead. Rumor is the army's reducing its number of troops, but it's just a rumor for now. Well, I could probably talk to my former captain to verify it. Is that all you're looking for? No. We also know that we lost the war to Aurora, but don't have any details about it. Not a single soldier even came back from the front. We want to know what happened. How'd we lose? Dandolo's probably heard and probably has a better political perspective and understanding of it than anyone else I'd know. Is that it? No. One last thing. We heard about a rebellion in a prison camp a while back. But it wasn't the prisoners who rose up. It was the mutants working there. Heard a lot escaped. Then do you want to know details? Sure. For that, I can go right to the source. Mutants have settled down in a place I know. I'll see if I can get some answers for you. I'll be back when I find them. It would be a big help. Looks like I wasn't wrong in asking you. Be careful out there. Hello, Phobos. Hello, Zachariah. What can I do for you?
Captain, good to see you. Rumor has it that the number of soldiers in the barracks is declining. Despite official reasoning that it's downsizing because we're no longer at war. Unofficially, it's because many of your colleagues have been arrested, and even more replaced. Replaced? By members of the ASC who report directly to him, and now make up half my company and who should be out watching over the population, but instead spend their time watching over us in support of the Colonel's little power grab. Just saying. If the man decided to mount a coup against the Dowser, not sure there's much we could do to stop him. Thank you. 
najniższy. Isaac. Zachariah, what can I do for you? Not much news in Ophir about Aurora defeating Abundance. You heard anything? Word is that Green Hope's defeat brought an end to the fighting. Aurora apparently took control of the hydroponic center using militia alongside Technomancers to support their army. And at first, Wisdom showed himself a worthy military strategist, using the militia in battle. Such people, properly motivated, can be surprisingly effective. You'd have to bear witness to the poorer classes of Aurora, to fully grasp how badly they were mistreated, to fully grasp how much the mere promise of a place in the Council would motivate them to fight, to fully grasp how it helped to deliver quite a blow to Abundance. And while Aurora adopted new strategies, Abundance remained predictable. They had almost no Technomancers, since it's becoming harder to find them in Ophir with each passing day. An interesting development, yes? And one that wiped out their army. Yeah, thanks for the info. Hey there. What do you want, human? I heard some mutants escape from a prisoner camp. You hear anything about that? Hasn't everyone? Not in Ophir, where the news never went public, no. It was only a rumor there. What do you know? I know if Ophir's men hear of it, it will cause trouble for us. For those among us who are still slaves there. It could also give your brothers back there some hope again. And to show them that we are able to rebel and escape? Uh, yes. Hope. So I will tell you. For my people, life in camp was hard, to say it lightly. Hard labor during the days. Brutality during the nights. The prisoners would take out their frustration of being locked up out on them. The guards and prisoners alike battered them with their frustrations. Then, one day, one of ours struck a guard who was trying to stop him from going to the aid of a brother. After he fled, the guards then stated that if he did not come out, they would execute ten random mutants. That was the moment the rebellion began. A prisoner from Aurora helped my brothers. With tools, they incited riot. Blood flowed. Many died. Some escaped. But at the start, Few thought to flee. At the beginning, they wanted only better lives where they were. It became obvious, though, the repression that would come would be worse than ever. That the only chance for life was somewhere else. Scum, the mutant who struck the guard, led them to freedom. They escaped without even being chased. The story came directly from Scum. A great speaker. A great hero. Thanks for the information.
Can't do this. Can't do this. Hi. Hello there, Mr. Manser. Good to see you. So, what did you learn? I was able to get some answers for you. Great. I knew you would. Go on, what did you find? Keep names out of this, we clear. Of course. Our sources are always protected. Go on. According to my source, the army's reducing its troops by 50%, and the official reasons are the rising rates of desertion, the number of Technomancer arrests, and the shrinking size of the standing force during peacetime. But she says this doesn't explain everything, as many good officers and soldiers are being let go without reason, when replaced by members of the ASC. In fact, the fear is, if the ASC attempted a coup today, the army couldn't stand in the way, because there are too many ASC entrenched in its ranks. That's terrifying. And it's news that'll hit the hearts of people in this city. 
All the people with soldiers and their families, soldiers who fought hard, now being fired only to make room for spies. What else did you find out? I talked to an expert on corporation politics who had first-hand knowledge about Aurora and us. And how'd he say Abundance lost? Aurora's troops were led by a general named Wisdom, who used Technomancers. And apparently they've got a lot more than we do, especially recently. So Abundance arrests and detains you and your brothers, our greatest weapons, and fall because of it. Guess that's karma. But what's more, they rallied the common people, recruited local and national militias who were feverishly motivated by the promise of gaining a voice on Aurora's council. Aurora became the first corporation to empower its people to fight. So while Aurora brought everyone together for the war, strengthening their numbers, Abundance fought weakened, bleeding their ranks, arresting its own Technomancers. Our army, well-trained and well-equipped as it is, didn't stand a chance. We lacked the Technomancers to lead the charge and the motivation of Aurora's militias to persevere. That's incredible. By giving power to the people, Aurora all but assured its victory. The power of unification is real. And the self-sabotaging nature of our government ruled by paranoia and fear cost us the war. I also talked to a mutant who heard about the camp breakout from the mutant who led it. Fantastic. And? The mutants in that camp were living in hell, day in and day out. They'd finally just had enough. So one day, a guard was beating on a mutant too tired to work. As much as the others pleaded, the guard wouldn't stop. So another mutant stepped in and hit him back. The guards threatened to kill ten mutants in retaliation. And that lit the fuse. With the help of a prisoner from Aurora, the mutants got their hands on some tools, and the riot started. They weren't trying to escape. They just wanted the abuse to stop. But the way the guards reacted made the mutants fear that it would only get worse. So they got out, led by a mutant named Scum. It's now a bit of a legend among them. And where'd they go? I can't tell you that. Fair enough. You need to protect your sources, right? Another story the people need to hear. It's what happens when you mistreat beasts long enough. Eventually, they'll turn on you. Thanks for all the information. Once I write the articles and get them out there for people to read, I think the people are gonna have a wake-up call about how different the truth is from the propaganda their government's feeding them. Hope it makes a difference. You and me both. The real change has to start with the truth. Hold on. I've got one more thing to ask of you, if I could. One more thing to really make sure we can ignite some change. And what's that? We put our news on the city walls. The man who's been doing it for us lives in the exchange. Getting there, though, has honestly gotten too dangerous for us. So you want me to be your delivery man? A deliverer of truth. To those who have been starved of it, yes. If you would do that for us. Yeah, I can do it for you. I'll see you later. Good day.
Hi, Zach. How are you? Hello, Amelia. Hello. I brought back some articles to hang around your city. Then keep your voice down. Quiet. Tell our mutual friend that soon, it will be hanging on every other wall in the city. How are you gonna make that happen? I'll make stencils of the text, and then go around the city with volunteers and hit every wall we find. Soon, everyone in Ophir will know the truth.
Hi, Zach. How are you? Hello, Amelia. I'm fine, thanks. Great. Now that I've got everything, I can actually start on the repairs. But it's gonna take a day, at least. And once I start, I'm gonna be neck deep in it, so if you need me for anything else, I ain't gonna be available. Works for me. Sure you'll be able to get it working again, soon enough. Damn straight. Even if you lost your legs, I could get you going again. Now get out and let me work. You... I need some information. If it's about anything you see in here, I'm happy to... 